First tournament of the year, you always want to get off on the right foot, go into the St. John's, a place that I've been to a bunch. John Cruz already holding the biggest bass weighed in so far in this event, having a huge final day. It can be a good and bad thing to have history on a body of water because if you have success, you want to try to recreate that success. You want to try to, you know, do what you did the year before. I finished second, you know, two years prior to Paul Mueller, almost won that event. So it was real easy to just try to go back and duplicate what I did during that event. But that's a trap. I've been doing this a long time. That is a total trap. Uh, you've got to make sure that you're fishing the current conditions. And by me fishing way south and then fishing on Rodman, I felt like I got a good gauge of where the fish were for that week. And I think that, that was just invaluable for me to practice that strategy going into the tournament. All right, here we are for the start of the season, boys and girls. It might be a little Groundhog Day with uh, back on the St. Johns River, but we're going to try to have you a little different action, but with a similar result because we got my man over here, Brett. He was with me when I caught that 11 pounder. Let's do it again. So he's going to say, let's do it again. He knows the deal. Uh, hang with us. It's going to be a fun one. So there's 22 of us in the lock. Locking up to Rodman. We'll see what happens. It's kind of weird to not have made a cast yet, and it's uh, a little after eight o'clock. Um, so can't get can't get too excited. Yes, gotta slow your roll. And we'll see what happens. I made that run all the way up to Rodman and I fished for an hour and a half without a bite. But then when I got bit, it was a good one. After an hour and a half not catching anything, I, I knew I would still catch some fish. I just didn't know if I was going to have to make a big adjustment right off the bat or if I was just going to be able to, you know, keep grinding away. One day. Good one, too. Just you're warming up, you're warming up. And sure enough, once once the dam broke, so to speak, it, it really just started to flow. Me out of the way. Yeah. Ah, stop, 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 stop.
choked it. Oh. I'll pump it all the way up with, with juice mm -hmm. or with water and then ju juice them. Another 12 ounces in the lap. Is this a good time to Skype? Sure. John Cruz said it was. Perfect. Um, let's get you ready. Uh, can you get uh, turn on the camera for me, please? John Cruz, stand by. Coming to you live. C. 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 On the river, we saw him boat an 11 pounder a couple of years, three years ago, I believe it was. b and Trailer Hitch is on the line with, with John. We uh, couldn't go for a morning without checking in with you. You always perform well down here. How comfortable are you feeling today? Uh, it's a totally different ball game here this week for me. I'm, I'm up in Rodman. I haven't fished a tournament day in Rodman in 20 years. Um, you know, and we, we practiced under rainy conditions, cloudy, a little wind every day. Now it's sunny and slick, so I had to kind of change gears a little bit. Uh, we started out really slow this morning and then uh, made a little adjustment and I uh, caught, caught caught a couple decent ones and a couple smaller keepers. Uh, so we're just going to keep plugging away until that last lock and then uh, head back to the way and hopefully we'll be able to scounder up a couple more. Maybe. Thank you guys so much. Uh, sure. Uh, I'm going to let you guys go and good luck with the the rest of the day. Thank right. you. Hopefully you have to call us back. Great. Yes. Got a little casual on an area I thought that, that I had the potential to catch a big one. And sure enough, when I hooked into one, it was for real. I ain't never seen anything like this before. Can't even talk. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this freaking what? giant dude. What a fish. Oh my god. What a fish. Okay, that's that might be eight. What a call.
best call in life. <laughs> Let me get a picture of that. I thought after the first hour, I might have to go to the pads and just catch me a small limit. Whoa, you were on deep. Well, it's dragging that drop shot. I can feel the drops over there. It's wild. I think with that sun, that's where they just move right on up and bake on it. Yep. The sun is definitely helping. I guess them too. I guess them too. That's what they were thinking. lock and see if we can go do something stupid on the river you know all right so we're coming back down on the one o'clock block I don't know what to say about today so far pretty unbelievable I think is the best way to phrase it but uh, we got in the low to mid 20s pretty amazing uh, just got to go hammer down I'm gonna go back down to the river. I got about two hours to fish. I wanna go to one of two areas. I'm not sure where I should wanna, wanna hit yet. Um, but who knows? Maybe we'll catch, catch another big one. I'm a little speechless. It's good luck guy right here. Brett, good luck. Uh, so I went back down started messing around in an area that I had gotten bit in previous years. Who said it? Wow. Wow. Sure enough, the first bite that I got was a four and a half pounder, culled out a three pounder, and jumped us up to that 28 pounds, and that's what allowed us to take the lead on day one. Elite Series Champion, 12-time Classic Qualifier from Salem, Virginia, the cruise missile, John Cruz. 28 pounds even! 28 pounds even, and the cruise missile is your brand new leader. Boom shakalaka, ch -ch 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 giant bass. Day two, got my man Jake over here. He's got the camera in the sack, getting ready to open the locks. We'll follow old Bernie Schultz over there if you can see him. If you can see him, and we'll follow Bernie out. Let him bang off those logs, or I might bang off of them, who knows? Um, looks like we got about 18 guys in the lock today. So, uh, leading the first day. I think some of the guys let me go up here. Let me go in front of them. So, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, got another, like another pretty day, like another, day for being on the golf course but we're not on the golf course we're gonna go get after some big old bass
give me an, give me that back, John. All right. Well, we uh, we made the the trek up here to Rodman. Uh, went through the lock and all that kind of stuff, and got up here and started fishing before 8:30. So that's that's a good thing. Um, yesterday morning, I had about an hour and a half before I caught my first one. But my first one was a five pounder, so that was pretty pretty amazing. So now I've kind of made my way over here to where I caught that first fish, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna fish through here. Um, just really just kind of jerking and finesse fishing a little bit, and we'll see uh, see what they they want today. We got kind of the same conditions, sunny like it was yesterday. We got a few more clouds mixed in, so I would I would expect the jerk bait to be a little bit more of a player today. Um, we're just going to kind of kind of let the fish tell us. There's one little guy. Very nice guy. Three. I don't even think he's going to be a keeper. Relax, bro. Relax. No, not quite. But I like his attitude. It's weird because he was up on the edge. He came up and looked at the jerk bait. Oh, ho, 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 Easy now, son. Easy now, son. The old football land, that's what I call that. Hut, hut. That's every bit of four pounds right there, boys and girls. Did you tell on your live that it was a smaller fish? I, I, it did, yeah, it was not a big old cotton ball, which is what them big ones look like. I could tell it was. But sometimes you just, like on that, on the live scope, it doesn't have a big blip, but it's a big one because it's not fully in the cone. Uh, you know, it's got a 20, that live scope's got a 20 degree angle. If you just get the edge of the cone to get the fish in it, sometimes, it doesn't look all that big, but it is. So after after I put that limit in the boat, I felt like things weren't quite right. So then I I, I just packed it up. We locked back down to the river. All right, here we are in the lock, locking back down. That's my buddy Michael. There's Chad over there. 
He's saying hi. Michael said, yeah, it's peanut butter jelly time over there in Chad's boat. And then uh, got Alex and uh, the stash over there. Stash has whacked him again. We only got like 10 pounds, but we're gonna lock back down and see if we can't cull. Everybody wants to just rack them once we get down there, right? That's the plan. That's the plan. We'll give it a shot. Rack them. Rack ball. bomber but not all the Florida secrets now what'd you just say about when you least expect it right when you least expect it that's it that's it push a full pound so right there baby that's the ones that we need started expanding on what I did late the first day catch that four and a half pounder and sure enough I got three of the right bites and uh, we got all the way up to 17 pounds on day two because I made that adjustment on day one, carried over into day two and it really ex I expanded on it, got those good bites. Well, just left the weigh in, weighed in 17.3. That was a relief. Um, day kind of came together pretty nice uh, now we're crossing over the beautiful st john's river and um, we're gonna have a lead going into day three just got to maintain it and have to continue to make adjustments everything's going well so far uh, go home make me a little plan restring a few rods check the weather again to see what we're going to do tomorrow but stay tuned day three coming up